Hey guys, welcome back to Larry's Corner. It's Emily here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys my March TBR. Y'all, I just got my hair done! I'm so, I love it. I actually, I really do. You can't tell, but I got curtain bangs, and I absolutely love it. Um, but this month, oh my god. I'm really excited for all the books. Like, all I want to do is read right now, and I want to keep that going throughout March. Oh my gosh, I forgot to get a book out. Um, but before I begin this video, please subscribe, like, comment down below. All of my social links are down in the description box below, as well as my Amazon wish list if you would like to gift me a book. Now let's get on into the video. So the first three books should not be a surprise to anybody because the Netflix TV series is coming out in April and I saw the trailer and I was like, okay, I need to reread these books. And it's the Shadow and Bone trilogy. Um, I don't know why Shadow and Bone is in the middle, but it is. Um, I read the first two books a while ago. I gave them both around like a 3.5 stars and it was okay, but I never fully finished Ruin and Rising. It wasn't because I was hating it, Everybody says this is the best book, but I felt like it was just too much to read all of them at the same time, like one after the other. Um, so I'm hoping to read the first two books this month and then at the beginning of April, since the TV series comes out, I think on April 28th, not sure, I'll read Ruin and Rising at the beginning of April. And I'm excited. If y'all want me to tell you what this series is about, truly could not tell you. I don't remember much. I remember it's about a girl named Alina and there's a shadow fold and it's scary and it's all dark and then something like hurts her boyfriend but it's not her boyfriend it's her best friend that she like Loki likes Mal and she like bursts into light and then there's a darkling I, I couldn't tell you I could not tell you um I do want to get to Six of Crows after this series I've never read Six of Crows before but I've heard it's the best and I also heard that some of the characters from Six of Crows will be in the TV series as well. So I need to know what the hype is about. I need to be prepared for when that comes out. And I'm excited. Look how pretty these covers are. I'm definitely going to get to the first two books this month. Now, last month I read A Court of Thorns and Roses for the first time. And if y'all saw my February wrap up, I thought it was okay. I did give it a four stars. That's not a bad rating at all. But everybody says A Court of Mist and Fury is the best out of the series you know what's so funny i went to go get my hair done today and the lady there i told her that i was a big reader and she was like have you read anything by sarah j mass and i was like i'm literally reading a series by her right now and she was like i'm only into one of hers which is like a court of thorns and roses i was like i'm literally reading that right now and we just like gossiped and then she was telling me how she was reading the shatter me series and i was like i love that series anyways that was a story that you nobody wanted to hear but everybody I told her that everybody loves this book the best and she was like honestly yeah that's my favorite too and I was like you know what I'm so excited even my hairdresser is hyping this book up if you don't know what Akatar is about which is A Court of Thorns and Roses it is about a girl named Feyre and there is a divide between the human world and the fairy world called Perithian and one day she kills a fairy by accident and the fairy the high fae fairy fae high fae okay um Tamlin comes to get her to kind of like pay her debt for killing a fairy so she has to either live out her life in perithian which is the fairy world or die so of course she lives out her life in perithian and then there's a romance that goes on everybody talks about rysand and how i'm gonna absolutely love him and i'm excited to love him i don't know if i'm gonna hate tamlin by the end of this or if if i just feel bad i don't really know how that's gonna work out but i'm excited to love rysand and that's what I'm hoping for. So yeah, I'm excited to get to this book this month. Okay, the next book. I'm embarrassed to say that, you know what? It's Becoming by Michelle Obama. Oh my gosh, how many TBRs have I had this on? Like six, five, five or six. Like what the heck is wrong with me? This time it's different. And I know I said that last month too, but it's different because I actually did start it last month and I'm absolutely loving it. It's so freaking good. I already know it's going to be a five out of five stars. If you don't know what this is about, it's about a lady named Michelle Obama. Two presidents ago, we had Barack Obama, and this that, this is his wife. Um, This follows her growing up in a poor income household, being African-American, African-American, oh my gosh, in America. There we go. 
Um, and then also like going to Princeton and being the only black person in the room, it's so freaking good. Like honestly, I haven't even finished it yet and I literally recommended recommended it to my hairstylist. Like and she was all for it. She was like, okay, Emily. So I'm excited. I won't talk too much about this because it's literally been in every single video that I've ever made. So I'm excited to finish it and yes. The next book I want to read is Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and I'm actually reading this for my literature class. We have to do independent reading each quarter and so this is my independent reading and y'all may say how is this have how does this book have any literary merit? I cannot tell you it's literally a children's book um but I asked her because it's like made in the 1800s and she was like oh okay so that's this book I have to read this by the 18th and do an essay on it before then. Let's see if I can do it. I will do it. I've been wanting to read this book for a really, really long time. I saw Brittany the Bibliophile read this book and she was like, oh my gosh, this is so immersive. I absolutely loved it. And ever since that video, I wanted to read it. If you want to know what it's about, I don't, I mean, I don't know. It's about a girl named Alice and she is scared of going into puberty and adulting. And so she kind of loses herself in her dreams and there's a white rabbit falls down a rabbit hole and then she goes into the wonderland i hope that was a good explanation i don't really know but i'm excited to get to it plus this is a version that has like super cool illustrations and this also has through the looking glass so two books one stone i that's not a saying okay next book <laughs> The next book I want to read is The Hating Game by Sally Thorne. I have already read this book. I listened to it on audiobook a while ago, but I wanted to reread it physically. So I just bought this copy and I'm actually rereading it right now. So definitely finishing it this month. Um, this is about a girl named Lucy and Joshua and they're both assistants for co-CEOs of this publishing company. Two rival publishing companies had to join together to save them in an economic do you, do you say guys? Hold on. I'm taking a break. Do you guys say economic or do you say economic? I usually say economic, so I do not know why economic just came out of my mouth. But does that matter? Um, no. So <laughs> during an economic crisis, um, and they absolutely hate each other. They have this kind of game going on to make the other one smile or cry or I don't know, get mad. And it's kind of like an ego boost. However, right now they there's a promotion and both of them are in the running to get that promotion. And that game, their hating game, is kind of like getting in the way of that. But also their like hate is kind of going to like a boiling point and then romance kind of ensues. So it's like hate to love, but in a workplace and it's so good. I love it so much. This is a lot of people's favorite book. Um, Noel Gallagher, she loves it so much and I love her so much. So I'm excited. I'm excited to reread it. And yes, next book. Sticking to the romance genre, The X Talk. I truly didn't think I was going to purchase this so soon, but I saw it in the store and I was like, you know what? Let me just get it. This, I don't really know too, too much about it. I know it's about a girl named Shay and she is at like some radio station and she comes up with the idea to have exes come on and kind of give love advice I think I am not sure that could be wrong um but the radio station is kind of like going downhill and they don't really have money to hire other people so the guy that she really really hates I think Dominic <laughs> they pretend to be exes and then romance kind of ensues from there um but they can't really keep a secret for long or something like that who knows I think I just said that all wrong but I don't know this has been this has had quite a bit of buzz recently, not gonna lie. And everybody that I've heard that has read this book actually really, really enjoys it. So I think I will too. I think I'm gonna give it around like a four, 4.5 stars. But if it, like, if I give it a five, it's gonna max out my expectations and I'm super excited to read this book. So yeah, next book. The next book was in my last month's CBR. It is Smash It by Francina Simone. It's pretty short and I know I can go through this pretty quickly. So I don't know why I didn't read it last month. I think it was just too busy. Um, but this synopsis really, really intrigues me. It's about a girl named Liv and she's just tired of letting her insecurities and her anxiety get to her. So she makes an effort list, which is one, be bold, do the things that scare her, two, learn how to take a compliment, and three, stand out instead of stand back. So she kicks it off by trying out for the school musical and she realizes that 
doing or following this effortless, she has to follow her heart. However, her heart is leading her towards three different guys and two of them are her best friend. So, her best friends, I always say without the S. Anyways, um, I'm excited. I think it'll be a really good read. I haven't heard too much buzz about this recently, but when it first came out, I heard a lot of buzz about it. So hopefully it's really good and hopefully I really like it. The next book, I don't really know if any of you guys will know what it is, but it is Prom and Prejudice by Elizabeth Yulberg. I got this in middle school. I like the Scholastic Book Fair, but I believe it's a YA novel because she is in high school. So I don't know. But this is a Pride and Prejudice retelling and it follows a girl named Lizzie Bennett and she goes to Longbourn Academy, which is like a preppy rich people school. Everybody pays to get in there except for the scholarship students. They have to maintain above a B average and if they don't they get kicked out. Lizzie is a scholarship student and she's there for classical piano. She's super amazing at it. However, at the school she is getting bullied hard. Um, she doesn't really like anybody there except for her roommate, which is, I don't really know, Jane. Jane, that's her roommate's name. And she's super duper nice to her. However, this school called, called Longbourn Academy is all girls. And then there's a boy school right next to it. So they have all the dances together that have like the boys and the girls. And so Jane is dating somebody named Charles from the boy school. This is such a long winded explanation. But Charles has a friend named like Darcy and she hates him because she thinks that he is like, just like everybody else, hating scholarship students, but then a romance ensues. So it's like enemies to lovers, and I used to love this book so much. I've read this, I don't even know how many times, I've read it so many times, and I loved it. I haven't read it in so long though, because I wanted to like forget everything before I go back in. I don't know, does anybody do that? Just me, who knows? Um, but I'm really excited. I hope that I give it at least the four stars because I love this book growing up and if I don't love it now, I'm going to be crushed. So I'm excited. Hopefully I don't hate it. And yeah, I kind of hated that last explanation, but the last book will not disappoint you. It is Midnight Sun by Stephanie Meyer. This is Twilight, but in Edward's perspective. It is huge. Why? Oh my gosh, it's literally so big. Recently, I literally posted it on my Instagram story. I found, oh my gosh, it was like Bella's room, um, but like ASMR, like ambiance. And it, we were like in her room and it was raining. And then in the background was literally Charlie and Bella speaking like from the movies, but like muffled. So it was like scenes from the movie, but with all the rain, it was just perfection. And I found it and that really made me want to read Twilight again. And then I saw this in Target, Walmart. I saw this in Walmart. And I was like, you know what? It's time, it's a sign, it's a sign. And I don't know if I'll get to this book this month, it's huge, but I really wanna read it. I know a lot of people, this like this book really uh, disappointed them, but I'm going into this book expecting Twilight, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not expecting it to be good. I'm just expecting it to be Twilight. Like, I'm just expecting it to be Twilight. I don't know how to explain that, but I'm not expecting much. I'm expecting entertainment. This thing, again, is huge. So if there's not a lot of entertainment in here, I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed. I think I'm gonna give this a 3.5. Check back in my wrap up to see what I gave it. Okay, so that's it. That was this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys got some I don't know, inspiration for some books that you want to get or want to read. And thank you guys for watching this video. Please subscribe, comment down below, and do whatever you want to do. And goodbye.